Maybe you've already read this online, but Hideki Gamya is actually leaving Platinum Games. And it is a big deal that I want to talk about in today's video because this man has made some of my most favorite games in the industry. He is a very important figure. And I want to talk about this because I really want to know what he is up to. I want to see the statement from Platinum Games. They made a statement. We'll go over all that information. So sit back, relax, enjoy, take a beverage and let's get on with the news. So Hideki Kamiya is leaving Platinum Games, one of my favorite studios out there that makes very great single player games like Bayonetta as well as Astral Chain. And now all of a sudden Hideki Kamiya is going to leave the studio according to Platinum Games themselves. And we don't really know why he's leaving the studio. Uh, there are some rumors out there that we will take a look at. But yeah, this man is very important to the gaming industry as a whole. And I really wanted to talk about it because this man has made some of my most favorite games. You might know him from his Capcom days where he kickstarted Devil May Cry. He worked on the Resident Evil franchise, Resident Evil 2 in particular. And he also made one of my most favorite games of all time, Okami. If you guys are a fan of Okami, I actually made a retrospective video on that not too long ago. It finally reached a thousand views, so thank you guys for that as well. Check it out if you want to see it. I might link it uh, in the description down below or in the comments. But yeah, Hideki Kamiya is leaving Platinum Games. Let's first take a look at the official statement from Platinum Games themselves. Also, don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section down below and I might feature you in the next video. They posted... We regret to announce that Hideki Kamiya will be leaving Platinum Games on October 12, 2023. We are truly grateful for his creative ideas, leadership and contribution to the growth of Platinum Games from our startup to this very day. We believe that he will continue to succeed in his future endeavors as a game creator. We are looking forward to seeing the game industry grow into a better place with him in it we wish him all the best for the future so that's the official statement of platinum games and a lot of people are speculating why he is leaving and some people say it might be because of the whole helena taylor situation which is kind of nonsense because that was proven to be kind of uh, not true on helena's Part. She was exaggerating about her pay for Bayonetta 3's offering for the voice acting of it. So it's probably not because of that. But I do have a theory that might be why Hideki Kamiya is leaving Platinum Games. And it might be because of Platinum Games' shift in change of direction, which I'm very afraid for. They want to pursue live service games more than usual and maybe that's because why Hideki left he wants to make single player games and that's why I love Platinum Games I love them for Bayonetta and for Astral Chain and not for uh, Babylon's Fall if you guys remember that that was a colossal disaster of a launch no one is playing it and it has been one of the worst games that they've released and I really don't want to see Platinum Games go in a live service direction. If that is the reason why he left, of course, maybe it's just because he wants to retire. But he isn't really that old yet. He's 52, so he still has, I guess, some life left to make games. So I find that very weird if it's just for retiring purposes. It can be, but I don't think so. Hello, little update from max from the future here <laughs> hideki kamiya actually responded with a tweet towards his departure from platinum games and he says that he will still be making video games in the future so that's good news he will not quit video game development altogether so that's great to hear now what will happen with hideki kamiya 
in general i don't know maybe he will start his own studio maybe he has a contract deal with another studio that he can work at but i highly really hope that he gets back to capcom the reason for that is i'm just very selfish i want to see an okami <laughs> i want to see a okami sequel and the thing is i do still think okami as a license is being uh, held by capcom themselves if a new okami would ever been made it would be with capcom of course and if kamiya can work with capcom in some way to make a new okami that would just make me so happy and maybe he can return to devil may cry team or something like that that would also be a very cool thing to see but this man whatever he does to be fair he will have I hope a good spot for his future endeavors with games because he is just very talented. You might have some opinions of him because he can be very rude and he blocks people on Twitter all the time. That's his mantra that he does. And it's funny to be fair because it delivers some entertainment for people, I suppose. I just really respect the man for what he has made so far in the industry. And i love bayonetta he helped shaping in bayonetta and what it is today i'm also afraid for bayonetta how that's going to continue in the future he worked on resident evil and we see now how great that series is one of the most popular horror games of all time i can only hope that he gets a good position in his next job or endeavor maybe he makes his own studio like an indie studio or something i just I just would like to see something Okami related. Kamiya, if you see this video, maybe think about that. That would that would honestly be amazing if Okami could return one day. Again, check my video on Okami if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, it's pretty sad news. Because he was a good fit for Platinum Games as well. He made the Bayonetta games and he helped a little bit with Astral Chain. He wasn't by any means in a director role for that game, but... He has influence over that studio, especially in the leadership front and uh, giving advice to younger developers. I'm afraid a little bit of the future of Platinum Games, where they are going. Um, let me know in the comment section down below. Are you guys still hyped for anything from Platinum Games? Uh, or are you guys worried for the live server stuff? Of course, they do have, I think, contracts stuff with nintendo and nintendo wants single player games from them like a new astral chain that needs a sequel because uh, that lore and story isn't really done yet so an astral Ch chain 2 will happen probably which is a single player game so we can look forward towards bayonetta sequels and astral chain sequels at least from nintendo but when it comes to the independent stuff from platinum games i'm kind of afraid for that and what do you guys think will happen to Kamiya? Is he going to make his own studio? Will he join back with Capcom? That might be interesting to see. Let me know in the comment section down below. What is your favorite game from Kamiya minus Okami? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's have a discussion. I quickly want to do a comment of the day because I had a lot of comments on my Elder Scrolls Worry video. A lot of people were also telling me about the procedural generation. Uh, that that is something Bethesda has been doing from the beginning. And I don't think a lot of people got my message in that video. I actually said it in the video. I know Bethesda has been doing procedural generation for a long time. It's more on the content stuff in front that I'm afraid of procedural generation. And not a lot of people, I think, got that message. But it doesn't matter. I think a lot of people still got it because I still have some comments about it. I want to pick one of those comments for today's video. Smuckgrok9821 says, Yeah, I'm really hoping the Elder Scrolls 6 is just going to be one or two handcrafted provinces and not all of Tamriel with procedural generation. The charm of Morrowind, Oblivion and Skyrim came from the fact that these worlds were handcrafted and you could see deliberate world building and lore through the world design. So if they make everything procedural generated, it will definitely lose what makes Bethesda Games World's special IMO. I fully agree with that uh, Smuckgrok. 
But um, I have nothing really against procedural generation as long as it's done for like terrain making stuff like that in the development process. There is nothing wrong with procedural generation and it can help with development. It's just when you introduce gameplay elements in exploration with procedural generation and I explained this in the video like procedural generated caves that look the same with the same layout that's something I want to avoid for Elder Scrolls 6 and handcraft crafted content needs to be there and it needs to be there in a lot of ways like 90% handcrafted in my opinion and, and instead of having almost half of the game uh, being procedural generation because with Starfield now you have a lot of procedural generation with the empty planets and uh, that's a bummer of course there's still a lot of handcraft called it the Starfield but um, I don't want to see Elder Scrolls 6, go 6 going in the same path basically if you have a good comment of your own let me know in the comment section down below and I might feature you in the next video Thank you guys for watching. As always, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more gaming news. Leaks. I normally do leaks and rumors, that type of stuff. Um, of course, visit my social media in the description down below. And I will see you guys in the next Get Wrecked Gaming News video. Bye-bye.